three, two, one. What's up everyone, Dan here, Crypto Capital Venture, July 13th, 2018. In this video, I wanna talk about Bitcoin. I wanna talk about Litecoin. I wanna talk about the mental aspect of this game. And really, I wanna talk about making money in cryptocurrencies because really, I think that's what a lot of you are here to do. Even if you believe in the space and the technology and you believe in cryptocurrencies, you're here to make money and probably have some fun doing it. There's one key to doing that in this game. And that's what I wanna talk about in this video. So let's do it. Let's jump in and let's talk about it. This is completely 100% mental. Investing business is mental. So let's, let's look at what I'm talking about here. Right now, with where we are with Bitcoin, everybody is in this, in this place of, we don't know. We don't know if we found the bottom. We don't know if we're gonna start kind of with a bullish uptrend from here, or if we're going to continue in this bearish downtrend for a while, nobody knows. So the key is to make the decision. You need to make a decision based on two outcomes. So number one is we're still in a bearish scenario. And you take historical data and you look at this. What does a bearish scenario look like? Well, say right now, in terms of where we are in the market, what if we're right around October 2014 in the bear market that happened? And say we're right around here and we still have another you know, 50% or so until the bottom. This is one possible outcome. This is one scenario. And it actually plays in really well to where we are right now in Bitcoin. So the first scenario we're going to talk about to prepare for is a bearish scenario. So a bearish scenario, and this is probably the most bearish I could possibly see uh, Bitcoin getting, would be basically like an 85% drop in Bitcoin, which takes us right around the $3,000 area for Bitcoin. And that's why I've talked about in my videos, uh, accumu accumulation area for me, a strong accumulation area, kind of broad, but not too broad, is the $3,000 to $5,000 area. Whether that starts tomorrow or in a month from now, that's the bear market accumulation area. I cannot even imagine Bitcoin going lower than $3,000, more than 85% losses from all-time highs. It could happen. I don't see it happening, especially with what's going on in the market. Um, bullish kind of things is what I'm talking about. So that's the downside. So that's Bitcoin. What does that look like for Litecoin? Litecoin, 85% losses. Uh, since, since Litecoin has gone down a little bit more than Bitcoin, 85% losses take us to $55. However, I want to point out one thing. Uh, in a bearish scenario, if uh, Bitcoin went to, uh, let's say $3,000 for that 85% from all-time high loss, that's around 50% losses from where we are. So for Litecoin, what would that look like? 50% 50, 50 losses for Litecoin would be around probably around a $35. Litecoin. So a $3,000 Bitcoin, probably around a $35, $35 Litecoin. That's a bearish scenario. I'm not trying to be bearish, but this is a possibility. This is an outcome that could happen. And if you can mentally prepare for that and even monetarily prepare for that, you will win. So that's the bearish scenario. Let's look at the bullish scenario. The bullish scenario, if you want to go back to the charts, in the bear market that we were coming out of, right? So back in, you know, August, 2015, there's that low. And then we went bullish from there, right? I mean, we're talking 200% gains. And then we're just in this uptrend that we've been in. So 200% gains. So say we found a bottom right around here, right? Um, what would 200% gains, first of all, look like? 200% gains from that bottom, would be around a $17,000 Bitcoin. And I wanna point out, I don't know what the percentage gains would be if we enter a bull market right now and we kind of continue in this long-term uptrend. However, we're, we're certainly going to break previous lower highs on this downtrend, if I can get my brush. So we're gonna break this if we enter a bull trend, we're gonna break this and we're gonna break, we're gonna break the previous all-time high in Bitcoin right around that $20,000 market. It, it will happen if we're entering a bull market. So those are the two scenarios and they're very, I mean, that's a very broad range, a $3,000 Bitcoin possibility this year or a 20,000, you know, $25,000 Bitcoin this year. How do you, how do you prepare for that? 
How do you get rid of the anxiety? Well, you first off have to look at where you are right now in the market, your portfolio. If, if you are comfortable right now with, and this is the key to this whole entire video, is with what you're holding right now in this area, $6,200 Bitcoin, $77 Litecoin, if you're comfortable with what you're holding, and if, if we went to zero, let alone $3,000 and you're comfortable, then you are very well positioned for a bear market because if a bear market happens, all that is down here for you is money to be made and is accumulation to happen. This is a huge area, in my opinion, in terms of accumulation. So in a bear market scenario, even if it's another year, there's insane opportunity right now to make money. Now in the bear market, in the bull market scenario, if we start kind of going back up, the question is, are you comfortable again with your current position at these levels of $6,200? Um, obviously, if we go into a bull market, unless you're shorting Bitcoin right now, you're not going to lose money. So make sure you're comfortable with what your position looks like right now. And if not, um, find your risk tolerance in terms of accumulating even more at these levels. This isn't financial advice. This is solely my approach on the markets. This is how I approach it. So if you have more tolerance, right, to spend money that you can afford to lose, then the best possible thing you can do is accumulate where you are comfortable accumulating. But at the end of the day, there are always two scenarios. And the looking at the historical chart of Bitcoin, and you can really look at that, that bear market we were in back a few years ago, these are, these are the scenarios. We're bearish and we're continuing going down, or we're bullish, we hit a bottom and we're going up. You have to find your middle ground, what you're com comfortable with accumulating. Sit down, you know, take some notes, write, you know, write what you're comfortable with. Look at your look at your finances. Never spend more than you can afford to lose. This is this is what I do. This is my approach, and I'm just sharing it with you. I'm sharing you my ideas, my opinions. This is certainly, definitely not financial advice, and I want to throw that out there. But I thought it was important to kind of talk about this because we, we do track the technical analysis side of Bitcoin, momentum, all that good stuff. But at the end of the day, nobody knows what's going to happen. Why am I more bullish? Even if we go down a little bit more, I'm more bullish for things like this. You know, you can, I, I quickly brought up this uh, article, which was three reasons why the Bitcoin ETF could happen next month. And this was actually posted yesterday. And, you know, it goes on three reasons why is, three reasons why this time it's different. And um, you can read most people in this Bitcoin space didn't have high hopes for approval when the Winklevoss twins coin Bitcoin ETF was rejected in March 2017. What followed was a drop in price that spiked up to an all time high 1350 back to under $1,000, a monster move at the time. And today we're at $6,200, six times greater. And we were almost 20 times greater at its peak in December. Number two, custodial services. Traditional investors have mostly refrained from cri cryptocurrencies largely because they are investors, not treasure hold clutching hodlers. Um, luckily, custodial services are now becoming a thing for institutional investors with Coinbase, Swiss Stock Exchange, being just some recent big names who will now offer custodial services for their clients. And then regulatory clarity. Um, one major reason for last year's rejection was that Bitcoin markets were unregulated. So Bitcoin ETF, a distinct possibility. All of this suggests that banks and the government are all looking to get a piece of the expanding pie and a regulated exchange traded fund would certainly help in this regard. So this is just an example of the Bitcoin ETFs. Who knows what's going to happen? But if, if something good happens, it's going to be amazingly bullish. And in my opinion, it's only a matter of time, whether it is, you know, within the next month or not, the markets are just, they're bullish to me. I know we're down, but how many times has this happened in the past? So this whole video to say, prepare accordingly, find your risk tolerance, don't spend more than you can afford to lose. But importantly, don't get emotionally attached to a downside or an upside. Look at the current situation, anticipate both, and make your decisions. Those are my thoughts. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I really appreciate you coming by, watching this video. I will see you in the next video and God bless.